Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that here's how I created my dream life and it was actually fairly easy, okay? So I'm going to tell you how I created my dream life. Right now I'm literally living my dream life. There's nothing that I wanted to achieve that I haven't achieved yet. I only have future aspirations, but when it comes to like the way that I thought of my life as a kid, I've achieved everything and more of what I wanted to achieve and it wasn't that hard. So the strategy um, was fairly simple. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to promote anything. I'm just trying to tell how I did it. The strategy was simple and then I'll go into detail about each aspect of my dream life that I created. So the strategy was very simple. I focused on a goal, okay? Then I figured out, um, I figured out basically how to get there and then I actually did the stuff and then I repeated it. So I focused on a goal. Where do I want to get? Then how do I get from where I am to that spot right there that is the goal? And then once I figured out the action plan, I did that stuff and it worked. And I repeated it again and again and again for the last 25 years, basically. Okay, so my job. Okay, I actually went through various jobs. I was an electrical apprentice for a while. I went into sales for a while. And the job that I ended up really wanting was to be an elementary school teacher. I've been an, an elementary school teacher for a long time, uh, more than 10 years now. It is my dream career. And here's how I got it. You know, essentially, I... When I knew that I wanted to, so I, I knew that I wanted to do something with regards to schooling, with regards to education, right? So I went to school and I did pretty decently in school. I wasn't one of those kids that excelled a ton because I was working basically full-time hours from high school onwards. So I was working in a part-time job, full-time hours from high school onwards, but I knew that I needed to get good enough marks to at least get into college university. So I went to high school. Worked a lot, saved a lot of money, got into college and university, graduated, went to teacher's college, graduated, okay? And through all of that, I basically worked full-time hours, so I graduated without any student debt, and no, I didn't have much help from my parents. My parents paid for my textbooks, so they helped me out by paying for my textbooks, part of it. I lived with them rent-free, so I mean, they definitely helped me out in that sense, but in terms of the tuition and my, you know, cost of just being alive and eating and stuff like that, that was all me. But I graduated without any debt. And I understand it's harder to do that in other countries. I live in Canada. It's harder to do that elsewhere. I get it. But you got to give me some credit. I worked full-time hours so I could live a somewhat normal life and go through schooling and not have any debt. Once I did that, I volunteered and I got as much experience as possible. I applied for a job with a school board. I got the job with the school board. Um, I covered an occasional assignment where I was covering someone's maternity leave. I ended up getting a permanent position the following year. And... Say la vie. I have my dream job. So each step, it was like, how do I get through high school? How do I get through college and university and teacher's college without having any debt? Then I did it. Okay. How do I get into a school board? So I volunteered, I applied and I did it. How do I get a, like a, an occasional assignment where I'm at one school for a while in one class for a while, instead of just supply teaching, I supply taught for a year. I did an occasional assignment covering maternity leave for a year. And then I got a permanent position. I just kept saying, how do I get there? I did it simple. Okay. So that's how I got my dream job. Wealth. How did I build a wealthy lifestyle? Now I'm not like really wealthy or rich, okay? But I have more money than I could have ever imagined at this point in life. I thought that I would be at this point financially when I was about 50 or 55. And I'm in my mid thirties at the time of filming this video. So like I'm way ahead. And how did I do that? Well, I said, I wanna build an income stream that I can do on the side, nights and weekends, okay? During time off on my free time. And I built various online income streams that earned me passive income. So this passive income that I earn is stuff that I've released online, assets that I've built online, and they bring in passive income every day, every week, every month, every year. And it's fantastic. Basically, at first I was getting a tiny, tiny droplet of money, tiny amounts financially. And then as I added more assets to my library um, of what I have online, which is this channel, I actually have other channels that are older channels that still earn passive income. I haven't worked on them in a while, but I have many channels. I have eBooks, I have websites, I have articles. I have all sorts of stuff, affiliate links all over the internet. Um, you know, I have lots of stuff that earn me passive income. And as I added more assets to my online library, essentially that passive income built. So wealth wise, I have more money than I could have ever imagined. My wife and I live a life. Listen, we're not rich. We live very frugally, but like I, we never question the purchase of anything. Like no matter what it is, if it's something for a hundred dollars or if it's something for 10 grand, we just get it. I like the, the, the days of like, can we afford it are gone. We're not rich. I can't just go buy a Ferrari. Not yet at least, but I have more money than I could have ever dreamed of at this point. And like basically 
We can buy whatever we want without having to question it, okay? As long as we want it or we need it. I'm not going to go frivolous, frivolously throw money everywhere. But, you know, if we want it or need it, you know, like we just bought... I, actually, the other day, I just bought like an $800 video game uh, just for fun on the spot. I saw it. I was like, yeah, I like it. You know, it brings back childhood memories. Let's buy it. So, like, I don't question... I, that, I used to have to save for months for something like that. And I don't question it anymore. Because I said, how do I get the money that I want, the financial level that I want? This is how you do it. I want to earn it passively. This is how you do it. And I did it. it took me like almost 15 years. I've been in the game for a very long time. But it's like I could have never dreamed of this life. Okay? Um, relationships. I said to myself, I want to still see my friends. I have a core group of friends, like five guys I'm talking about that are my core group of friends. I'm not a big person like having a big group of friends. I used to. I just, I don't have the time to see so many people. So I have like my five key friends and I see them basically once a month. Okay. Um, and sometimes we join up together. Sometimes I'm seeing them individually, but I basically see them once a month. So I said, how can I still see my friends while still leading a busy lifestyle? And I said, okay, carve out two hours, once a month for each person, try and do a few of them on the same evening, you know, and then that's, it's it. It's just a goal, set it and, and achieve it. My wife, I wanted to find the girl of my dreams. Okay. I saw my wife. She looked beautiful. I started talking to her. We hit it off. And I said to myself, you know, I want to go on a date with this lady. I don't know if my wife, if she sees this, she's going to be like, why are you telling them? So I said back in the day, this is the BlackBerry day. So we had like a BBM pin. I had my BlackBerry messenger pin, which is like the code that you can use to message each other. So I said, hey, can I grab your pin? We started chatting. I said, I want to go on a date with her. So I asked her out on a date. And um, she act, at first she said no, right? And I said, ah, oh, does that mean like, because she said she was busy. She had something to do. But then she said, okay, but actually I'm free on this day. We went on a date, went on many dates, got engaged, got married. The rest is history. Now we have four kids together. So life is bliss. Um, and with, with, with regards to being a parent, with my dream life, I always wanted to be present in my life. Luckily, like my dad was always around. He still is always around. He just, he's always, always, always around. Okay. Every soccer game, every band concert, every band performance, because I'm a musician, he's a musician, like everything, every parent teacher interview, he was always there. Okay. Like head of the parent council at school, pizza lunches, he was there. He was just always there. So I had a very, very good role model when it comes to being present in my kids' lives. And I said to myself, I want to be wealthy, but I don't want to have to spend all my time working. I want to spend time with my kids as much as possible. Basically, if I have the ability to spend any time with my kids, I want to. If they're sleeping, I can't spend time with them. If they're at school, I can't spend time with them. If they're at daycare, I can't spend time with them. But if they're, if I'm able to spend time with them, I want to be there for them. And luckily, I literally basically spend every possible moment possible with my kids. Okay, if I'm able to spend time with them, I spend it with them. I go to all of their events, okay, all of their extracurricular stuff. I go to all of the school events. I'm always around doing their homework with them. And the reason is because I said, how do I accomplish that? A passive income was the key. Okay. So passive income allowed me to make the money that I wanted, but also be present with them. You know, I wake up every day and I see how much income is coming in passively. And I'm very thankful. And obviously, um, you know, like the, the, the other side of that is that the kids don't see me work as often. So they see the rewards. They see that we have like nicer things and they don't see me work. So the obviously the other thing is that sometimes I have to show them, hey, look, this is what daddy does, right? So I'll show them like my library videos or my camera equipment. I'll say, listen, this is what I do. This is what I do after you guys go to bed. I film these videos so, you know, so that we can have this house so that we can drive a car and stuff. You know, they're still young, so I'm still trying to communicate it to them. But it's Essentially, with each step of the way, I don't want you to take this video as me bragging because I wish I had someone tell me this stuff when I was younger. If you take it as bragging, honestly, I, from the bottom of my heart, I, I still love you, but I couldn't care less if that's how you take it. Because I'm literally here just trying to tell you that each step of the way I said, this is what I want. This is how to get there. So how do I get there? This is how I get there. Do it. Okay. The next goal. This is what I want. This is how to get there. Do it. Everything in life, every goal in life is just a matter of how will you get there? How long will it take? Some of these things on this list only took me a couple of weeks, like dating my wife, going on a couple dates with her, making her my girlfriend, asking her to be my girlfriend, that making her my girlfriend, asking her to be my girlfriend. She gladly accepted, okay? Ask her to be my girlfriend. It's like a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, something of that nature. Something like building up a lifestyle of wealth, that's going to take a couple years at least. So you got to be prepared to put in the time, but figure out what you got to do and do it. It's as simple as that. That's it. 
If you like this video, and that's that's basically how I created my dream life. It was not hard. It was actually easy, but it does take work. Most people, they know how to do it. They're just lazy. They're just not willing to put in the work. So put in the work. You can create whatever dream life you want. It doesn't matter what you want, but you can create that life that you are desiring. You know, as kids, last thing I'll say, I promise. As kids, we have like these aspirations that are up here. Then we grow up and we start lowering our goals to be realistic. Never mind your realistic goals, man. Keep those high aspirations. You can achieve them. Take me as an example. I'm a regular bald guy screaming at a camera and I've created a life that like many people would beg for. Okay? So literally, just 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 take my word for it. Just get it done. Create your dream life. It's not hard. Just do it. Get it done and move on to the next goal. Always set goals. Literally, I'll be setting goals for the rest of my life. Okay, that will never end. I'll be 95, 100, hopefully, 110, doesn't matter. I will be setting goals every day. The goal might be to walk down the stairs, you know, without falling at that age, but that's going to be the goal. So always remember, goal setting is key and action is also key. Set your goals, take the action, move on to the next goal. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.